Okay, I'm sure it's no secret now. I've been clear in many of my videos. Those of you that know me personally know that my girlfriend Courtney and I are abstaining from sex until marriage. You may have even seen us last Saturday. We had a real talk too. He said, she said presents real talk to an honest or real conversation about celibacy. And we talked about our journeys. It was me, my girlfriend Courtney, my friend Muhammad, his girlfriend Marshina, Deshaun Mays and Tamara Mays. They were, uh, it was six of us and we shared our journey of uh, Tamara and Deshaun are married, but uh, Muhammad and Marshina and Courtney and I, we are not married, but we shared our journeys that uh, we were taking to abstain from sex until marriage. And one of the things that comes to my mind is, why aren't people abstaining from sex? Why are they not abstaining from sex until marriage? But one thing that comes to mind is, we really don't realize what we're doing. I think it's, uh, I've heard it, the uh, pastors argue that it's a, an issue of loneliness. But I also have a, a revelation that came to me specifically when I began my journey, or right before I began my journey. It was in 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. I'm reading from the King James Version, so watch out. It's going to be a little poetic. It says, flee fornication. That means run away from it. Every sin that a man doeth is without the body, but he that committeth fornication sinneth against his own body. Chapter, or verse, excuse me, verse 19 says, What? Know ye not that your body is the temple of the Holy Ghost, which is in you, which ye have of God, and ye are not your own? Who are us, who are we to choose how we're going to use our body as if we can value what God has already put a price on? Verse 20 says, For ye are bought with the price. Who bought us? Jesus paid the price for us when he died on a cross for sins that we never committed. So for us to place a value or try to devalue what has already been invaluable because he's paid the price for the bodies that are not our own, how are we able to go through and, and sin against ourselves? We're sinning against our own bodies that are not ours. So this property that we say, it's my body, I get to do what I want with it, is contradictory to what the Word of God is saying. The Word of God is saying that our body is the temple of the Holy Spirit which resides in us. So this is a rental that goes back to the earth. It came from the earth. If we go back to Genesis, where Jesus, or where God created man in his own image, he created us from the dust. Our bodies are dust. So dust that it's come from, dust is where it's going to return. So for us to be able to say, I'm going to place a value, I'm going to devalue my body by giving it to just anyone, I think it's just a lack of knowledge. I didn't realize this until I read this scripture and it convicted me so much. I felt so, I was like, man, this whole time I've been getting this wrong. It says, for ye are bought with a price, therefore glorify God in your body and in your spirit, which are God's. So the body this external piece here, the spirit of God that's residing in me, they're both gods. So who am I to use it the way that I want to use it? And I'm not saying that to judge anyone out there. I'm saying how it made me feel. And I was like, whoa, I don't have any right to use this body the way I want to use it. And I'm sinning against myself. All other sins I'm committing outwardly. This one is inwardly. Now I'm trying to remember, and now I understand why I'm tied up with previous situations, and I'm talking about this in the past tense, how I was tied up in situations that no longer is, existed because I was out of order according to this. I was treating my body as if I bought my own body with a price, I was treating my body as if I didn't have to run from something that is so feels so pleasurable, but it's so tempting, but it's so detrimental all at the same time. I was doing what I wanted to do, even though I didn't own what I'm trying to do, whatever I want to do with, and whoever I want to do it with. 
That's what this scripture is talking about. It's talking about we are not our own, but our society says we can do whatever we want because our bodies are our own. But scripture is saying that our bodies are not our own and Jesus paid the price. So the next time you try to devalue yourself, question, am I using my body the right way? Am I, am I understanding the value that has no value? Are we, am I placing the proper value on something that is not, does not belong to me? And that's my body. And if, you, if you've made the decision of giving your body to someone else, it's not too late to change your ways. Your body's already been bought with a price. Don't devalue something that's invaluable. Jesus paid a price we can never pay him back. But we can honor him because our body and spirit are his.